I just completed this LEGO D-Day build, but there's still something missing. In this video, I'm gonna try and recreate all of the most famous German equipment from the Second World War. But I'm only allowed to look at the picture once, and then I have to try and recreate it from memory using LEGO. On the build list, we have the Flag 38, Flag 88, Pack 36, Pack 40, and the Nebelwerfer. Now, on this LEGO D-Day build, we only have three gun positions, but we're creating five German guns. So it's time Time to get building. Let's get rid of the last Lego build because I don't want to remind myself how long that took. Let's begin the timer and to create these other two gun positions we will be using this 32 by 32 green plate. So we're making some good progress and uh, I know what you're thinking, this well is, just looks incredibly boring. Now all we've got to do is some detailing. Now the D-Day build was probably way too green so this time we're gonna go for way too much brown. Okay, so now we've got two kind of gun positions dug into, well basically just a horrific mud fields. Let's um let's make it look a little bit better. So there we go, five empty LEGO World War II gun positions. Now, I'm gonna create all of these German defenses without looking at what other people have done, and then at the end of the video, we can compare them to what the professionals can do, allowing you a perfect opportunity to laugh at my builds in the comment section. So let's start off nice and easy by trying to recreate the Flak 36. But remember, I only get to look at the picture once and then I've got to recreate it from memory. So let's take a look. So it's got like clips coming out the side of it, it's on a pedestal, it's spinning, it's a quad cannon. And now I'm going to close that. And if you're a subscriber of the Scots Plastic channel, you'll realize things take me long. So I'm going to be giving myself a 30 minute timer. Better get to it. So <laughs> where do we start? Oh, that could come in handy later. One of these, one of these things for like a swivel, for a tilt, maybe that, I don't know. I'll show you this little mechanism that I've got here, this little like rotating bit here. And then if I can bring something up off of these two points, you know what, I'm, I think we might be onto something here. Okay, so this is what I've got at the moment. It's, I know it's not much, but I think we can build on that. It's basically like a rotating platform, which I think I can get a seat onto. This totally does not look right. It totally does not look right. Oh no. So I've got these four little pieces that I think would be really good for the guns either side. I just need to figure out how to actually get them on. Tell you what, that's... I'll tell you what, let's just let's just get the rest of those on like that and just have a look and see if it looks totally cringe or not. So what I've done here is like, ah, it's just, it, it just what it is, is it's just not very good. Ah, how do I get those like at the same distance? It's just, it, ah, this <laughs> is so hard. So let's get that on like this and then we'll do the same on the other side here. And then what we need to do is we just need to find a way of like mounting these guns on, well, onto that. Okay, with six minutes left on the clock, we might be making some progress. I mean, it definitely needs a lot more meat on the bone and it's not perfect, but you know, it's, 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 it's okay. Okay, so let's get some muzzles. Now we need to start actually properly getting some shielding around it and making it look a little bit more substantial. Okay, we're now actually, believe it or not, beginning to make some actual progress here. I can't remember exactly how it looked, if I'm perfectly honest with you, but we're just gonna have to keep slapping stuff on and, and hope for the best. Okay, the only tiles I think we have are like ones and circular pieces. Aren't really gonna cut the mustard, I don't think. Uh, it's not even the right gray. <laughs> 
Ah, time burn. Okay, let me just put this last couple of pieces on, and I don't care if you're upset that I'm doing that. So, there we go. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, uh, yes, I'm very disappointed in this. I greatly look forward to the comment section, but what does it look like when it's actually in position? Okay, unsurprisingly, uh, it also still looks bad, to nobody's surprise. So, uh, before I get any comments down below saying that this doesn't look like a Flak 38, I'm well aware. I can see that. Now let's get to the really depressing bit where we look at what the professionals did and just uh, compare how much worse mine actually is. Oh my god. Um, does it get worse? Oh, oh wow. Oh, mine is so bad. So the th that was supposed to be the easiest one, yeah? Anyway, moving, <laughs> moving on. This is the next thing that I'm gonna create. It's gonna be the pack 36. Now, this should be an easy build, but I guarantee you, try this yourself. It's so much harder than you'd think. So let's just take one look. It's got like a 30 degree angle and another angle. It's got some wheels. It's got a pea shooter. I think it's got some things behind it. Let's build it. Wish me luck. Right, let's start a timer and then we need to just first things first let's just get some wheels eh this should be a relatively easy part i uh, I, I bet you this is going to be so easy to do when you look at other people's like creations but i know for a fact i'm about to have a i'm gonna i'm about to really struggle <laughs> okay that's a good size wheel that's a nice size wheel is that another one that's another one of those wheels okay so we've got two wheels so look at that that looks like an actual like base of something imagine if we can actually get like a good build out in 30 minutes from just my head right okay this piece here i think could be a big piece because then we can create a slant from that that we maybe could get a the pea shooter shooting through. Have a look at that. That's actually like the start of something, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit of a slant. <laughs> Uh, the wheels don't, they don't really touch the floor, I would say, is maybe one criticism. Maybe if we do them that way around instead, there we go. Now that'll, okay, now we've actually got a base, bro. That is good. What we've got here is like an actual proper base of the pea shooter. A couple of bits left that I need to do to like secure the pea shooter weapon in there. And then all I need to do is start trying to figure out how to get the shielding around the front. But like honestly, that's legitimately a pretty nice wee build so far. So far as a key point. How do I get that at an angle? That's the question. Oh my god, okay, that actually, mm, does it work? Let's just take the wheel off for a second. Oh my god, everything's just gonna fart. Not awful, now we just need to get the shielding on and like, um, not looking horrific. Ideally, that was, that's what we were aiming for here. Tell you what, it's gonna have to be at an angle and I'll show you why, because look, it's like pressuring the actual pea shooter itself. I know that the actual like pack 36 is flat, but maybe, hold on a second, if I use one of these, I'm not going to find the fart in here. And there we go. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It doesn't look like a pack 36, but it doesn't look awful, mostly. Okay, so this is the part where you get to uh, laugh at me again for my... Yeah, yeah, it's not a pack 36. It's, it's just not. It's almost insulting to put this on it, but we're gonna do it anyway. And this is what other people made. Do you know what's upsetting about this? I have all those parts. That just looks so much better. Okay, this little trick here, this little trick here to get those angles is really important one and then that's also another one of those oh what was i doing <laughs> what was i doing i think we crack on with the pack 40 oh it's got some proper girth to it i've got a couple of ideas already on this one i think the smaller you build the more difficult it is okay so let's come back over here with our not flat 38 and not pack 36 and let's just move them over there and forget that ever happened okay first things first i've got these two wheels i think these are pack 40 wheels oh well they're not, obviously not built for pack 40 but they look like wheels that would be good on a pack 40 so let's use them yes yes that's gonna be good actually that's gonna be really good we might actually do a build but then i said that about the last two and they both absolutely flopped so we'll just we'll We'll see. You see, now the reason why I'm thinking that gun is it's just it's just too short. It's too short, so we might have to do a custom gun here, which I'd Kobe. Oh, I'll tell you what actually, if we do this 
You'll have to bear with me here, but I think I might be onto something. Can I feed that through from this end? Yes, I can. Now then, I think I can use this piece to extend it. Then we've got a long gun, but it's too thin. Way too thin. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually created a wee channel for this gun to actually poke through. I had extended the gun, but I think I need to thicken it first, and I do have some ideas for that. I mean, the one thing that I'll say is at least got, at least you guys can be confident that I'm not cheating because, well, let's be honest, like, frankly, if I was cheating and this is what I, like, made, <laughs> uh, it, it would be very embarrassing. This one might actually be coming together a little bit here. If I've then got that bottom set, so I can kind of make it almost look like a multi-tiered gun. Okay, right, how do I extend that now? Do I just, uh, can I just use these to extend the gun? I think I can, you know. Also, in case you're wondering what I was planning here, I was gonna do like that. Oh my god. If I'm not careful, I might actually create a good build here. I'm scared. Uh, uh, the wheels might want to be a little bit wider then because it's, start it's starting to look a little bit too bulky. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. That's too high. It's gone too high. I wonder if there's a shorter version of it. Do I've just not got enough parts. It's so annoying. So let's try and get the bit that comes off the back, like the little like, dig into the ground parts before it's too late. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how we do that. One second left. Okay, you know what? I'm not completely upset with that. I should probably turn the timer off. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to be honest. I genuinely think this looks pretty sick. This was 30 minutes, by the way. This was 30 minutes. And this was no planning, no prep, no nothing. Just for reference, let me bring this picture back up. I don't know, man. Like, that's not bad. Certainly not great, <laughs> but it's not bad. Like, I'm just happy that I produced something of some sort of value in this video because the first two builds were truly awful. So how does my pack 40 fit into the existing custom builds. That's like a really mini- okay, that's quite a small one. That's probably too small for what we're trying to do, to be honest. Yep, that's better. Yep, can confirm. Oh, okay. Those slopes, I hadn't thought to use the slopes, actually. But that being said, I mean, it's still not a bad attempt. Okay, let's step things up, let's move on from the pack 40, and let's go to the flak 88. So there's like a couple of bits underneath the gun, there's also like a bit on top of the gun. Is that four prongs like this? And then like a slanted shield, like this nice little slant here. <sighs> Um, yep, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've added the pack 40 to the actual build. Let's start the timer, 30 minutes on the clock. Now, it had a four-prong base, so let's start with this. Actually, maybe what we do is, actually, uh, yeah, no, actually, let's do this. Let's start with this base here, and I've got an idea, just you watch. This will make sense in a moment. Okay, so I've got the feet of the base. Now, what that is gonna allow us to do is I can then connect in these parts on each side. Now, what comes after this, who knows? I feel like I'm on, just onto something. I just need to figure out how to finish it. Tell you what, let's call in the big gun. I got reinforcements on the way. I'm gonna use this, connect on a second one of these, but I need to find a second one of those. And it's possible that we might just not have it. Let me just show the uh, show the camera what I've got here. So, like, I think we genuinely could be onto something here if I get that sorted. Imagine if there's like loads of stuff that I needed in this box and I just never looked in it. Okay, the timer has ended whilst I'm midway through looting a box. You know what? I think I'm actually possibly onto something here. So I'm gonna abandon the timer and frankly, I don't care. And I'm gonna finish the build. Okay, so I've gone incredibly over the time limit, but I'll be honest, I think it was most definitely worth it. Then, the idea would be it doesn't fit. Well, let me see if I can fix that. When move in. Okay, what I've done is I've just shortened its legs, basically, and now... There we go. That's not bad. That is really, really not bad. Okay, so... That looks really good, man. I don't know why I do this to myself. What about the next one? Good God. I really thought I'd done very well. So it's now two days after the original recording where I made this Flak 38 and I've had plenty of time to contemplate the quality of this build.
also had plenty of time to contemplate the quality of my pack 36. Hopefully that summarizes my feelings quite nicely. Now, one thing I will say is I think my pack 40 is actually, you know, it's, it's passable. It's not too bad. And also my flak 88 also not totally cringe. However, what I have done is I used a couple of online tutorials with the parts that I did actually have available to me and I've created and populated the gun positions with some actually good builds. I've created a Flak 36, a new Flak 88, and a new Flak 38. So if you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe to the Scots Plastic channel, otherwise I might throw you against the wall.